You know, SpaceX, back at home we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. It was the view of a lifetime, as billionaire and philanthropist Jared Isaacman popped his head out of the SpaceX Dragon capsule, he was greeted by a stunning sight, the blue marble, Earth. Shortly after his 10-minute spacewalk, it was SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis' turn. Really cool to see one of our own out there, that's awesome. While only Isaacman and Gillis exited the capsule, two other crew members were sitting inside, also exposed to the vacuum of space. This was more than just a chance to view Earth at its finest. It was a test of SpaceX's new spacesuits. This, the first real-world test. 10 or 15 years from now, people will be starting to settle the south pole of the moon, and they'll be wearing uh, the Mark V version of this spacesuit and just counting on it to work perfectly. Uh, and, and it's largely because of what we witnessed today. This crewed mission has seen many milestones, including traveling the farthest from Earth since the last Apollo mission in 1972. The International Space Station is a mere 400 kilometers above Earth. The four astronauts traveled 1,000 kilometers further. Beyond the Van Allen belt, an area that shields us from harmful space radiation. And then heading down to 700 kilometers to perform the highest spacewalk ever. And a lot of what we learned during the spacewalk today about how the human body is affected by radiation in high orbits is going to go into how they prepare that vehicle to make sure that NASA and other astronauts are safe going to the moon. But it's not just about going to the moon. Mars is the ultimate goal. This is a pretty amazing step, an amazing time to be alive. So, Christine, this is actually just the first step in the ambitious Polaris program. First of three missions, Nicole, as I understand it? Right, that's exactly it. The final one will culminate with the first humans taking flight in SpaceX's massive 33-story Starship, which a version of which will be used to return humans uh, to the moon, which is slated for 2026. It might actually get pushed back, though. It's all just incredible. Nicole, thanks for this. You're welcome.